Welcome back. One tired, overworked chef here reporting for reaction and review duty. And uh, today's submission that comes from a gentleman, I'm going to believe his name is Adam based on the links below. And uh, he has a deep love for power metal. And one day whilst working the day job, he spontaneously decided he wanted to create a power metal album. And uh, he's done so without any prior musical production knowledge or experience and just under a year later he's succeeded and he's always had a, he's always had a passion for writing fantasy stories and uh, so this has carried on into the music and it's a story album the project's name is twice sliced bread which I think has to be the most unique name I've come across as thus far for a power metal uh, uh, kind of band or act. And uh, the album is Scars of Woe, Scars of Divinity. The story follows a barbarian named Ricky Battleax and his companion Jeff. And Jeff is a cybernetic zombie bear whatever one of those is i haven't had the pleasure of meeting one but we're going to meet one today through a medium of music and they battle together they battle the forces of an ancient fey king so interesting i would like to say that it's before i hear a note of the music it's quite a thing you know coming up with an idea and putting it together so uh, that alone uh, takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication so huge praise for that and uh, now I suppose we will now listen to uh, a song called Dynamism of Death and so now we will listen to a song from that album called D D Dynamism yes and now we will listen to a song called Dynamism of Desolation brackets Jeff's Metal it's been a while since I had a power metal submission. Uh, let, let's uh, push play. Here is the sign of those who would fight to save another's life. Jeff, cybernetic zombie, very slow, slows the air, eyes on the sky, and then sees the moon flying air. Something off the earth is somehow messy, bears the laser powered for a hawk. He glares through the wind's cold death in his eyes, leaves a closer frost trail behind him as he flies. Jeff is not the least taken by surprise. He knew that this day would come. Jeff raises his robotic eye on claw arm. A fiery doom takes aim at the figure in the skies who plots this place to be his everlasting fire. Fills the air as he shoots off the first attack. Then the whole world goes cold as the hawk fires back. Frozen lays of both suddenly fill the now cold air. The power causing icy explosions every place, everywhere. This fiery ion blast is now turned to dust. The hawk swoops down to launch another deadly attack. Jeff does not waver. The hawk flies below. Its lasers spawn in at Jeff's feet. Jeff dies back, narrowly avoiding total annihilation. Jeff fires another supercharged ion blast on his fire. It contains more power than either of them have ever known. The whole world turns to red. The color crashing red as mighty fire burns towards the frost. Have to take his life. Engulfs the hawk and he screeches in terrible pain. The fire burns so hot that some raw skin is melted away. Lasers pierce the searing blazer icy power, rendering it to haze. And with another cry, the hawk rises higher into the sky. Now the air is once again filled with the sound of laser eyes. Unimaginable power streaking towards the bare one he is like. Raises his eyes to the sky His large power drain is why He doesn't try to launch another single attack He sits all and bravely faces his demise Now the laser powered Frosthawk lands Mind imbued with the king He slowly approaches the spot where the cybernetic zombie bear just been Frozen dust swirls in the air The land is now desolate Not a thing in sight yet lives All dissolved into cold ash Oh, it's not a little Mikey Jeff, and he's still got some power after all! 
of his friend As the whole world fades to black Jeff finds peace Knowing he sympathizes He gave it his all He stood tall He overcame them all He broke free of his prison and his walls From keys, torture, the barbarian side He fought a true man where he didn't have to hide Someone he could fight with being set aside His eyes close as he begins to interesting listen um i'm kind of glad that i opened with the um kind of thing about it being a an accomplishment to see a project through to its fruition to start from nowhere and to get to somewhere and i think this track has got to somewhere uh but there's just a few pointers now i'd like to sort of continue before i talk to say that um i'm all about the empowerment of musicians and and their journey uh, regardless of ability budget and experience and uh, uh there's a few points on each that uh, i'd like to promote some improvement if i may um the music and the, the storytelling i can kind of hear the, 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 the structure of the production. I think it's clear you're possibly a guitarist by nature. Some absolutely killer riffs in there. Um, and I don't know if you've maybe sort of uh, uh, double tracked or layered those guitars in any way, but I felt that whilst the playing was awesome, they just lacked a little beef. Um, drums themselves it could use a little bit more so for these things uh i would invite you to and i know this is not a, a, a paid for endorsement or anything but um in my own mixing and mastering journey um there's a gentleman on youtube called fright box recordings um uh there you'll pick up all sorts of tips for tracking for editing um and for kind of sort of like a mastering and, and and all that kind of stuff, uh, just to give it the just to give it the punch that that it needs. Uh, the balance was kind of okay. The vocals were a little bit too high in the mix, I think, and then it's kind of detracted away from from the, from some of the, the musicality. Uh, when it comes to the vocals, uh, I don't think it would be a surprise um, for the artist to hear that in places they are a bit pitchy um and this is something to work on with practice i certainly couldn't do that so uh that's absolutely huge kudos uh to that uh, but allow me to discuss my own vocal journey um such as it is i mean i'm not a fantastic vocalist but you know i do the sort of like usual black metal-y type, grunty type, sort of screamy type sort of stuff. By all means, check out any of my material and uh, you'll probably even hear the progression and you'll hear it's probably not also not so great. Um, although some people would tell me off for saying so. But uh, uh, it's when you're recording, uh, afterwards do some editing, get those vocals on grid in some cases there was a there's a bit of early onset on the vocals and in some cases there was a bit of late onset on, on the vocals so practicing 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 on on the vocals get to know your song inside and out so it's as ryth rhythmically accurate and tonally accurate as it would be with your guitar playing, to which it, I believe you are quite accomplished with that. Um, 
uh, and then kind of getting things, snapping things to the grid. If you don't, not sure what snapping to the grid means, again, look, tons of YouTube stuff there. It is a reasonable effort, and I'm sure there's obviously there's experience limitations there, and there's budget limitations there. Uh, but you have made a start, um, and I promise you that a year down the road, because you're probably working on something already, uh, you'll look back on this and go, I oh, see now I do this and do that. And you've had more experience, perhaps as a vocalist and more uh, and more experience in, in recording uh, and, and the treatment of your sound as it goes into your DAW, uh, as well as all the things that you do inside your DAW before spitting it out. Um, it's a kind of uh, shame because I, I, I do see like, uh, Spotify and Bandcamp links, um, which as it is good, let, let's let's get let's get try and get you a few followers, and you can obviously update those tracks uh, at some point or do a takedown and 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 re-upload. Um, but I would have perhaps if 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 I had known you would have counselled you a little bit more before going to release um, on Spotify, and I hope you, you didn't. It sort of cost you too much um, because I do believe that after a number of years, you will look at this in a slightly different light and you'll be like, ah, I could have done this, I could have done that. But I understand entirely the impatience of the musician and the creator. And uh, once we've got an idea in our head, it's like, did it, did it. But it just felt a little bit kind of rushed. I'm not saying that a year is too, is a, a too quick or a too long time. Uh, everyone has their own kind of pace, but uh, m most most certainly th those little bits, kind of compared to other stuff that I hit, I, I hear, um, it kind of made the sort of music a little bit harder to figure out. Uh, particularly that charging intro. One thing I did like is you have this reverberation type. Well, oh no, this sort of vibrato in your voice. I think if that was developed and harnessed and you strengthen your vocals, that could well be an interesting direction to, to capitalize on. So, I mean, it's a very, that's a good effort. Uh, and I'm not going to, you know, there's so many people that you just can't, one, create a story, create all the music, record it all, put it all out, do all the artwork. Um, you know, and do all the things required on the internet uh, and on all different platforms to get to get it out there, to get it known, um, and to have the tenacity to do it, and um, and to be bold enough to come to people like me with with your material uh, for critique and review. Um, so you know, I, I hope that this is coming across as like helpful in some way. Uh, I really am about empowering musicians on their journey, no matter how how much they've got the money, money in the bank, how many years they've been playing, um, you know, what, what their genre tastes are. You know, music is a very uh, kind of uh, like a hobby, but you know, it's something that's built within us and we should honor it and we should invest in it. So, this is step one of the journey, and I'd be very keen to hear what uh, step two sounds like. Uh, for you guys watching this, um, uh, there's some links and stuff below. Let's try and give the guy a, uh, it's going to give you Adam a bit of a, an uplift. Uh, uh, yeah, and hopefully we can, we can get you involved in a community of musicians and and sound people uh, that will throw lots of tips and stuff along your way. This has been an interesting one.